Hey guys, it's April 15th, 2018. Um, it's been really rainy here in Seattle all week. Um, so yeah, we got plenty of water for the plants. Here's the crocus. You can see it's still flowering. Not as many as last year, but you can still see some white and purple flowers coming up. Here's a bunch more white flowers. And here's a kind of like a purple one coming up right here and the white ones and then here we have the dahlia so you can see dahlia is coming up now I just see one sprout though and then the lily of the valley you can see the purple variety flowers And then here we have the um, white variety on the left side. I l like the how the leaves repel water, so you can kind of see water droplets on it. And here's a more of an example of the white variety of the lily of the valley. Give you a closer look. The flower is really cute. It's like bell like shape. Bell shape like, I mean. Um, and then the beets are sprouting, I mean, germinating. And then carrots, it's getting bigger. And you can see the garlics are going crazy. Um, the potatoes are coming up too. You can see a bunch more smaller sprouts over here. And then the bigger ones over here. And then the asparagus. I harvested two of those right there. And then these are the ones I still have. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to harvest this one pretty soon. Yeah, I don't see anything else. And then the hydrangea looks pretty much the same. Another hydrangea looks pretty much the same. No drops. I don't see any flowers, so it's probably not gonna flower anymore. Just leaves. And then let's look at the seed. Looks pretty much the same. Grape hyacinth. Um, you can see the flowers has uh, have started coming up everywhere. You can see a bunch of purple flowers all over the pot, and it's going crazy. You can kind of see like a bulb being pushed up like that. Um, blueberry, you can see the flowers, and some of, mm, some of the flowers are done flowering and has fallen on the floor. Strawberries, I think they look pretty much the same. This guy over here is probably not strawberry, I mean obviously. I think it could be um, poppy from last year. Um, let's see, I planted some straw flowers, still waiting for them to germinate. Here the tulips, doesn't look too healthy, I think the aphids are still attacking the plant pretty badly. You can see the aphids are coming back again, and then here it's even worse, you can see a huge colony of aphids under the leaf. So yeah, I'm gonna spray all of these with the soapy water. Catnips looking kind of sad because of the neem oil I sprayed. Peonies, you can see the leaves are turning green-ish. Um, I don't know where's the flower gonna come up from. Is it gonna be from the existing branches or from a new branch? I'm not sure, but you can see some new branches coming up still from the base. 
And then the hyacinth, you can see I harvested some of the flowers, so there's only some left. Let's see, and then here we have the cattle lilies, looks pretty much the same. Don't really see any major growth yet, probably it's not warm enough yet. Rhubarb still growing, new leaves are still coming up. And then the wildflowers, crimson clovers, are still flowering, you can see here. Um, and then the lacy facilia is definitely coming up, they have germinated. Daffodils, I harvested some of the flowers as well. And here we have this orange variety and the regular variety, which is all yellow. And let's look at the tulip, it's looking fine. And then this blueberry is pretty much the same as well. You can see a lot of flowers all over the bush. Um, raspberry are kind of growing faster now as well. You can see the flowers are going to come up pretty soon. Yep. And then here we have the Persian pearl tulip. Very cool flowers. I've never planted this. I like the color so far. It's really magenta. And right here you can see this flower is uh, infested by a lot of aphids at the base. So yeah, I'm gonna spray this down too. And then the grape hyacinth. You can see this variety looks much different than the other one. There's a bigger contrast between the colors of the flower. And artichoke, I don't see any major growth yet. California poppy, this flower is going to be huge, I know it, and you can see how big the plant is, it's very complex too, a lot of uh, new growth everywhere, and then the summer snowflakes are definitely growing, you can see they're getting a lot taller, this one is a little too tall for this shelf, so I'm going to move it outside. Yeah, it's looking healthy. Hopefully there's no aphids. Here, the Venus flytrap looks pretty much the same. Um, the ivy plant looks pretty much the same. Not too much growth yet. These guys are sprouting finally. Little hydrangea looks pretty much the same guess it's the, there's not too much sunlight this week. I don't really see any major changes. But there's definitely a lot more flowers like these guys. The Puskinia. Really pretty. White flowers with blue, very light blue um, veins. The succulent and another succulent. Lilies are growing definitely. You can see it's taller. And the lavenders, looking good. Lots of new growth all over the plant. And rosemary, looks like it's still dying. And here we have the saffron. Looks like it's dying back already. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's just the environment or not the right season. And here we have the garlics. You can see this one is sprouting now. Little green thing. And then this guy is way bigger. But yeah, all the garlics are sprouting now. Actually, I'm going to sniff it. Yeah, definitely smells like garlic. And as for the indoor garden, here we have the zebra plant. And the snake plant. And the water lily aquatic plant. You can see the uh, leaves opening up. And this guy, don't know how to pronounce the name. Gonna change the water today. And the orchids, doing really well. Let's try to find a new 
new growth on this guy. You can see it right here, right here, and then there's another one. Two new growth from this point of view at least, and you can see this little green thing that's new roots, not leaves. And then you can see it. Look at how big the leaves are. Lots of new growth on that orchid, and just a lot of leaf growth on those two. And here we have more orchids. This one looks pretty much the same. This guy is probably dying, not too sure. And this guy is still growing. Looks pretty good. Look at that new growth. Here we have the prayer plant. You can see it's very dense. No new sprouts from that snake plant. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the prayer plants. You can see here's a new growth, new leaves coming up from that new growth. And then I believe there's another one. So yeah, I think there's so far about three plants in this pot. So it's definitely multiplying, which is definitely a good sign. And then I move one of the orchids down over here. Here's the new growth. You can see a little brighter green. And then the um, staghorn fern is doing well. Let's look at the uh, ficus tree. It's looking good. And here we have the, I think it's the dragon tree or something. They're looking good too. Really easy to plant. And then this guy, you can see the new growth coming out. Hopefully it's going to create some hanging vines, which would look like this Hoya plant. Um, there's a lot of new growth all over the Hoya plant too. You can see this pinkish leaf, that's a new growth. Here another pinkish leaf, that's another new growth. And uh, let me try to find more. And this one, this is a newer leaf too. And then the bigger prayer plants, you can see it's uh, huge. Um, and then the the biggest new growth is right here. You can see the leaf is almost as big as my hand. Um, and it's way more pigmented, darker in color. And yeah, it's big. Hopefully we'll get more uh, new growth from the base, not just this one this year. We'll see. And the succulents, you can actually see some pigmentation, some red, which is usually the color of that um, succulents. And let's try to find the little baby from the succulents. I believe there's two babies. Let me give you a closer look. Right there. You can see a new one of the baby and then the other behind it. So yeah, there's two new plants coming up from that one. Spider plant looking healthy. Hope we can get more of the little babies from this main plant up here. This bird nest fern is doing well. Another staghorn fern. And this guy, they're all doing well. Yeah, this uh, the roots are all developing pretty nicely. Oh, this is the flower I harvested uh, sometime this week. Some of them are kind of um, dying, dying already, but yeah.